what's up guys welcome back to another video so in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you finally my review on the flexi hand so i've had this since christmas i've had a good play with it i've done a few sets on it and i'm finally ready to sit down and share with you my thoughts on it and i've also filmed a hard gel extension for you guys so if you would be interested to see a full review and demo on this flexi hand then just keep on watching so guys, diving right in with today's video and I first wanted to share some information on the Flexi Hand with you guys just so if you have your eye on it, you know what you're getting before you jump in and buy it. So Flexi Finger have recently upgraded the Flexi Hand with a long, longer wired version and this basically means that the fingers are not only longer but they are more likely to mimic the actual movements of a real hand. So it means that um, you have a model there without the need for a real person and you can practice until your heart is completely desired. So the Flexi Hand is readily available from Flexi Finger Direct, but you could definitely go ahead and check out the stockists, which are Aces and Dolls and Nail Necessities for the UK. I got my Flexi Hand for £74.50, but that doesn't include any of the shipping charges or anything like that, but I still think the price is super fair for what you get. So the new base of the Flexi Hand allows you to adjust the angle 360, again this just mimics the movements of a real hand, um, so as you can see it is super sturdy, once you lock that in place it is absolutely going nowhere, which I think is simply fantastic. You could also go ahead and adjust the height of your Flexi Hand, so if you were in the middle of doing a design you could go ahead and lower it to its most bottom level and you could just pop that into your nail light and dry your fingers like that. And it just means you don't have to remove the fingers which are easily removable anyway but I just find it so much easier to pop it in and dry the whole thing together. So the one thing that sets the flexi hand or the flexi finger apart from the rest of the silicone practice hands in the market is the fact that they've manufactured theirs with a cuticle slit that goes quite far up into the, the finger, meaning that you could push your nail tips up and they are not going anywhere, so there's no need for glue or anything like that. So again, the nail beds on those fingers are always completely safe because we are really only using them as a base to hold our nail tip because the nail tip isn't actually super glued or anything like that onto it so you're not going to get any damage on your fingers and I just wanted to quickly share with you the difference in the colours so the bottom row is the ones that came with the flexi hand and then my I have a flexi finger here I've had this around about a year now but I just wanted to share with you the difference in the colours they have most definitely went ahead and redid the flexi hand so it resembles real skin tones if you notice it is not too far away from my actual skin tone anyway and compared to the old style finger they have most definitely upgraded it and it looks a lot more realistic. So Flexi Finger have recently upgraded the base of the Flexi Hand also and it's now a 6.5cm lockable base so it is really strong and once you have gripped it to your shiny surface it's not budging anywhere guys so I choose to use this tile I got it randomly in an old pack of tiles in my cupboard for, from my bathroom so I'm now going to go ahead and use some salt water to help me just have a little bit of um, a wet back to stick this to the tile and then you're going you want to position it as you wish and then really use that leather to push down and as you can see once that's in place and secured it's not going anywhere so of course while you're setting up your flexi hand you do want to just go ahead and make sure you have secured that base to something shiny um again you don't need a tile it costs you next to nothing and is one of the best things that for this flexi hand it gives you the sturdiness that you need and just something that you could go ahead and keep that um positioned on so i'm now going to go ahead and show you how easy it is just to slot those fingers into place they just slip in and again they are not coming out anywhere they have a little bit of um i would say a little bit takes a little bit of umph to put the fingers in so again as you can see i just push them right in and there's no issues whatsoever now we move on to the nail tips the great thing about this is that any universal nail tips can be used to mimic the nail plate i already had 500 pack of these square tips that i got from aliexpress ages ago so i'm going to go ahead and use these ones now for the thumb 
you want a size 1. For the index finger and the ring finger, you want a size 5. For the middle, you want a size 3. And for the pinky, you want a size 7. And you also have to remember that the new version of the Flexi Hand is sized differently than the older version. So if you did have the older version and were looking to buy this one, you may have to get other tips that are going to fit better. So for to actually apply the nail tips, you do not have to glue these. All you have to do is slot them into that cuticle area and push them up as far as they go. You really only want to use these to mimic the nail plate. So you only need to have a little bit of free edge so you could push these as far into that cuticle area as you wish. And again, as you can see, to remove them, you do have to lift them up and pull them out. They don't just pull out, which means um, you won't have to worry too much about them popping off as you're filing. So next I wanted to share with you guys how easy it is to prep your flexi hand for use using any kind of nail enhancements or any kind of products that you wish. So I first like to go in with an 80 100 grit file using the 80 grit side. Again guys do not use this kind of grit on your natural nails. It is far too coarse um, but since this is a nail tip I'm pretty much just using it for laziness. Um, so just for the sake of quickness I'm going in and filing that free edge making sure it's nice and rounded and then I also go over the surface of the nail to remove any shine. And I really found if I prep my flexi hand properly, then the tips or the forms do no problems whatsoever and it does everything that I need it to do. Um, but I have just went in on, straight onto those tips with some actual tips and it didn't stick properly. So now I go ahead and just score the surface to make sure um, those tips will go ahead and adhere properly with no issues whatsoever. And now I'm going in and I'm cleaning up that nail hand with some cleanser. And the great thing about this is that it doesn't remove any of the paint um, like that last bloody hand that I reviewed it doesn't remove any of the paint so you have no issues of damaging your uh, flexi hand and speaking of not damaging your flexi hand I'm going to be sculpting nails today and the one drawback is that the forms don't actually stick to the fingers themselves so what I like to do is take some sellotape and I go ahead and wrap that tightly around the nail and again the sellotape won't damage my flexi hand but it will give me something to adhere my nail forms to so I go go ahead and apply that sellotape to all of those nails and then I'm going in with these absolutely gorgeous nail forms that I also got from Aliexpress recently and I'm going to go ahead and apply these to all of the nails and I apply the forms just like I would on my own nails. I go ahead and secure the tip, I pop off those tabs and then I secure it to the finger making sure I'm holding onto it tight enough so I could secure it to the nail and then I go ahead and just finish up by securing those top tabs. And then I just wanted to show you how easy it is to manoeuvre the fingers. Like you see, the top, the form is really nice and secure and you could do a full 360 swirl with that finger so you could see that everything is nice and in place before you go ahead with your application. So I'm fully aware that this is a practice hand and you do not have to prep and prime it before you go ahead and start to do your fills or your extensions or anything like that but I completely treat this like I would any normal hand. Again I am practicing and I want to do all the steps that I would usually do so I went in first with a layer of my artistic pH bond and then I'm going in with a layer of Donato's clear rubber base. And again, I just slip that off and pop that into my nail light so I could continue on with the rest of my designs while that one is drying. So this flexi hand has absolutely gave me the opportunity to try things that I wanted to better myself at this year and that was most definitely filing and also sculpting nails. So I thought I would share with you guys how I sculpt my nails. I'm still beginning but I wanted to share with you a little bit of a demo on this hand and also push my comforts out a little bit. So I'm going in with Venalise's Builder Gel in Thin Pink and also my number 4 Kalinske brush and I'm first starting with my first bead of gel up into that 
stress area. I bump that gel up into those corners just to make sure I have enough product at that stress area. Because we are working on a stiletto nail, we are taking the length of the nail quite far down from our natural nail. So you do have to make sure you've got enough product at that stress area so if you bump your nail, it isn't going to break at that weakest point. So as you can see, I'm wanting some long extensions, so I'm taking that down as far as I can. I think it's to a number three or maybe the number four. So I'm just going ahead and making sure that the side walls are nice and even. And then I go ahead and pop that into my LED light. Sorry guys, my voice is still really bad at the moment. But yeah, I pop that into my LED light um, for 30 seconds and then I'll take it out and I will go ahead and pinch that. And while that pincher is on, I will leave it on in my light for another, um, I think it's maybe probably for another one minute one minute 30 seconds something like that um because this gel does re require uh, quite a bit of drying time because it is uv and then once i have fully cured that nail i do go ahead and remove that sellotape so i just take my scissors and remove the top part of the form cut off the sellotape and then i will pinch the form at the bottom so it releases from the nail and then i will just go ahead and pop off that nail form and as you can see we have no damage and a really nice base for our stiletto nail so before I go on with the next layer, I always go ahead and cleanse that first layer of gel simply because I have dogs and hair seems to get everywhere. So I usually have a little piece of lint or something like that on that nail. So I do like to go ahead and clean it before I go in with my next layer. And then for my next layer, I do take a slightly larger bead of gel. I start at the, cu the cuticle area and then I go ahead and mould that around just to make sure everything is nice and neat. And then using the body of my brush, I will bring the remaining of that gel down into the second half of the nail and then with the bottom half I just merely paint it because as you know you do not need an, um, too much product at the bottom of that nail we just really need to work on the strength area and then when I was happy with that next layer of gel, I do turn that finger upside down once again, allow gravity to do its work, and then I will fully cure that nail. And now I'm going in with my last bead of gel, and this one is going to be my apex bead. So I start at the cuticle area, and then I drag the biggest majority of that gel down into that apex area, make sure my stress area is nice and protected, and I have enough product there. And then with the remainder of that gel, I just again brush it down through the tip. You do not need lots of product at the tip, but we do need to make sure we have enough strength and structure in our nail. And then again, I flip it upside down and fully cure it. And finally, here is the nails once I have gone ahead and applied all of the layers of gel and I'm now going to go in and show you guys the filing. So I don't usually keep my filing routine in my nail art videos and that's because it's probably one of the weakest points in my nail journey. I am not great at filing whatsoever and it really does take me a lot of time so i do start with the side walls and again as you can see you want to support that finger and make sure you're holding it into the cuticle area and i file probably like shrek files his toenails i'm not even kidding guys i absolutely go to work so i did find that the finger did pop off when i was doing um my filing but that was only when i wasn't supporting the tip of the nail if that makes any sense so if you file like a normal person i could almost guarantee you that that tip isn't got, not going anywhere but I am most definitely very rough when it comes to filing and I am an absolute mean machine and I just go to town so I did find that the finger did pop off a couple of times and slip out slightly but it was mostly only when I was doing um, the filing of the body of the nail and I wasn't really supporting the top of the cuticle area so as you can see when it comes to filing I basically do the side walls first I then do the cuticle area and then I do the body of the nail and then I start to refine my side walls a little bit better um, making sure everything is nice and flush and the underside of the nail and the c-curve part is really nice and neat. And I just wanted to share with you guys what my nails look like once they had finished being filing. And just look at the C-curve and the pinch on that nail. It is so nice and sharp. I was so in love with it. So here is the nails that once I have filed them all. And I'm now going to go in with a nail buffer. And I am going to go ahead and buff the surface of those nails. Simply so they have a nice finish. 
And here I am just showing you the extensions on the actual nail, how well they attach to that actual nail bed part of the flexi hand and how realistic the nails actually look. These look like stilettos that I would do on myself all of the time. There is no problems whatsoever in practicing what you need to practice with this flexi hand. So like I say, for professionals or beginners alike, this is a must have. Because the thing is, it's not like we're all fortunate enough to have somebody readily available every single day for us to practice on. And this is definitely just like having someone in front of you um, 24-7 for you to go ahead and practice everything you need to. So I am now finishing off by just wiping that flexi hand, removing any of the dust and debris and as you can see, any spills or any wipes are easily removed with no issues at all. And finally guys, that is us reached the end of this video and this is what my nails look like once they have all been sculpted and cleaned up. And I must admit, I was super proud with this application. Sculpting nails is definitely not my strongest point, but this flexi hand allows me to practice as much as I need to without the need to worry about hurting my own nails or needing to have someone in front of me. So I think it's a great thing for not only beginners, but um, nail techs who need um, I something to use for nail art ideas or things like that it is absolutely a fantastic product that, that does what it needs to and works and remember guys if you are interested in this product or any of the products that i've used in my video i do go ahead and leave all of the names and that good stuff linked down below for you guys so check that out and it will be there so i really hope you guys enjoyed this review and that i covered all of the points that you needed to hear and if you did enjoy today's video i would totally appreciate it if you could give me a thumbs up hit that subscribe button don't forget to hit that notifications bell and give me a little share it helps greatly with my channel and means the absolute world to me and as always guys to finish off thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one bye